Hi there, how are you all? Since my last video, I finished the last page of my current watercolor sketchbook and this is what I want to show you today. I am not a hundred percent content with it, but I tried my best to explore coloring that I didn't use yet. Since this entire sketchbook was about trying to find my voice and I also painted this with only three colors. Those that joined the Patreon community in a Paint With Me tier will be able to download my sketch and paint this exercise as if you were sitting next to me in the studio so let's get started oh and wait until the end of this video for the giveaway announcement As for my materials, I listed them in the description of this video as always. For this painting, I picked different primaries than in the past. I tested out different yellows and what kind of browns and skin tones they created and opted out for much darker yellow than what I normally would go for. And this Queen Acridon Deep Gold makes beautiful golden browns and the skin tones for this painting were also a little darker. I really needed the browns, especially for her hair. My red is a new color that I introduced to my palette recently and it's called Quinacridone Fuchsia. I fell in love with this one as it looks beautiful in its raw form. It's darker than my usual choice, which is alizarin crimson, but slightly more rosy. And I needed lots of purples for this color palette and this type of red suits me very well. For the blue, I picked Delft Blue by Schminky Horadam. It's warmer than what my usual choice is, which is Prussian Blue. And that was also due to my need of purples because when you mix cooler red and a warmer blue together they create a very vibrant purple so that's why I opted for those two. If you are working with a limited palette and need to mix darks such as deep browns and blacks so if you are only using a triad and want to mix a very dark and deep browns and blacks then pigmentation of your colors is very important my usual recommendation is to buy primaries from the highest grade watercolors and then mix them if you use student grade or hobby paints they are fine and can be even nicely vibrant but the problem occurs when you are trying to mix those very dark hues that's why I think a 5 ml tubes of three primaries from the highest grade watercolors will show you a great amount of variation and also it supports your learning. I just want to be clear, this exact triad of primaries I'm using today is not the best solution for any painting that you wish to create, so I just don't want to confuse you into thinking that this is what you should get as your standalone limited palette. It's just something that I tried this time around for this painting. It's very different than other triad that I use. In one of my more popular videos, and that one was Indian yellow combined with pyrrole red and Prussian blue, which worked very well. If you want to check, I will link that video down below. are strengths and weaknesses of any primary triad that you would pick as they are unable to completely contain every color. As I'm talking about this, maybe a video about color palettes and different primary color suggestions would be useful. I would be interested to see myself what I would find out while testing different triads. I do not always paint with a limited palette of color because I have a lot of colors and I want to take them for a spin usually, <laughs> but it's also a lot more fun to get to know your colors 
colors this way and then slowly add more to your color palette as you get used to them. Lately I purchased paints just because I was curious that looked identical than others that I already own so I think that from now on I'll be removing stuff from my collection instead of adding to it. Look at me being so chatty about the colors in this video. So let me mention the subject now. I used my Pinterest board, also linked down below, to paint a picture that inspired me and it was a girl with paint on her face. The entire color scheme of that photo caught my eye, but since I picked a limited palette to work with, it made this all the more challenging. I wanted to capture the atmosphere of the scene with the girl in it loosely and use a lot of watercolor textures, which I think I did, but I also lost a little bit of light in the process. This is probably the hardest aspect of the technique and something that you can't go back from once you layer too much paint and your paper white stops showing through, there is no going back. And while I left some of the white at the bottom of the painting to help me brighten the blouse pattern, I just forgot to leave some of that nice whiteness around her head and that would definitely help with the contrast against the dark hair. So there is a lot room for improvement and this is why I love my skin sketchbook so much because it allows me to spot these things and address them before I invest myself into a larger piece. I'll be sad to leave this sketchbook. It was a good friend to me over the past two years, but I'm so happy that I finished my very first watercolor sketchbook. In the next video, I will do a sketchbook tour and I already have a very special new book to replace this one and we'll unbox that together next week. And I have a giveaway for you. Recently I published my second Skillshare class and this one is all about watercolor special effects and how to utilize them in your paintings. This class follows my introduction to watercolor in which I taught a simple watercolor techniques to just get you started. So those two classes should provide anyone who wishes to start learning watercolor, actionable steps, exercises, and also in-depth explanation of these painting principles so that you are able to paint pictures without struggling with materials or how the water behaves. Both classes were created in collaboration with Skillshare, so that makes me very proud and already taught over a thousand students ever since they were published. Now I have a coupon for you and that one is for one year of Skillshare premium membership to award one of you. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is to watch the newest watercolor class and then create a project. Our class project in the new class is to paint a wolf portrait and this painting not only shows you how to use watercolor but special effects are greatly utilized in the painting to show you what's possible and then how you can incorporate those effects into your own work and make them stand out even more. I think this is not only fun but very useful exercise and when you paint your wall feed you can just snap a picture of it and then upload it to the project and resources section below the class. Great thing about learning on Skillshare is that the platform allows me to interact with students a lot more and give them personalized feedback so I'll just do that. This class is out for about four weeks and we already have six gorgeous projects 
projects. These first participants are automatically also included in my giveaway. I wrote personalized feedback to all the projects that already were uploaded. So you have until the end of September to post your work and you can take the class for free with a link that I provided in the description of this video if you yet don't have a Skillshare membership. I'm very excited to see what you create. And with that, have a great week and I will see you in just a few days. Bye!